heard all the stories of Bigfoot spotted in the woods, footprints seen in the dirt, people's animals missing. But all of this happening right in our own backyard. Fox 26 to your hometown news connection reporter Alex Lehner joins us. Alex, this guy's got pictures. Picture right here. Bigfoot, as you can see, uh, not a super clear picture, but he's got some damning evidence. Bigfoot seen in an orchard on a farm, and sometimes it's not just one, but five Bigfoot. And now this local paranormal expert says there's evidence that we can no longer ignore. Bigfoot, notable alias Sasquatch. Last known sighting near Avocado Lake by a local yeah, farmer. I'm, I'm going up the road and all of a sudden these five and six bodies of whatever run past the front of my headlights on my truck. Keith and tells right local now, paranormal expert Jeffrey Gonzalez he thinks these bodies could be Bigfoot. One of them, which was extremely tall, had a pig over its shoulder and it's, the five scattered the one with the pig was running so fast they didn't see an irrigation pipe and it tripped with the pig going flying over. This story intrigued Gonzalez but didn't surprise him. In the last five years there have been three Bigfoot sightings all in the same area. I would have never guessed in a million years that you would have told me there's Bigfoots on frickin' Shields or Ashland Avenue, right? So I want to know what's going on. Is this for real? Before Keith's account, two boys told their mom they saw Bigfoot in their orchard one afternoon. A few years later, a man came forward saying he saw five Bigfoot in an orchard just across the street from his house. That same orchard. Paranormal investigators say the Bigfoot left behind this footprint. What are the odds of three people, th three different families who don't know each other within a radius of two to three miles come and tell me what they witnessed? and it pretty much matches up. Gonzalez says he's also seen the legendary creature a number of times on Bigfoot expeditions, even finding this print on his car during a trip, which DNA experts say held consistent with that of a gorilla. I, I, I believe there are a lot more people out there who have seen things and are keeping it inside themselves. You know, they don't want to go out and, and tell people, I mean, they don't want to get ridiculed. I mean, they don't want to be made fun of. But Gonzalez says now's the time to come forward because he and several others in the valley believe Sasquatch is here in our own backyard. And Gonzalez tells me yesterday he met with a woman who lives on Trimmer Springs Road. She told Gonzalez the other night her dogs went crazy and she heard loud footprints on her back porch. She thinks, Gia, it could be Bigfoot. Gonzalez is going to put up cameras to see if they can catch it. Oh, I am such a skeptic, Alex. I wish Monty was here, though, because he believes. Yes, he does. So what do people do if they think they see something? Well, uh, you can contact him. He's got a 24-hour hotline. You can also email him at uh, sangerparanormal at AOL.com. That's where he is getting all these reports coming in. All right, Alex. I should also mention Kevin believes. Gonzalez <laughs> also has a television series called Paranormal Central. It will start running on CW59 at the beginning. There were some year. scientists trying to figure out the Sasquatch riddle. Then they figured out it was a missing link. Scientists have proven that the Sasquatch is real. Take a look at the plaster cast of his foot. Now you know he's real. Listen real close to the audio tape. Now you know he's real.